2023, Buhari told to replace Malame with Kenyamo and Meji with Saraki as ministers. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. President Muhammadu Buhari has been urged to replace the Attorney General of the Federation, AJF, and Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, with Fastus Kenyamo and Rotimi Amechi with Bemisola Saraki as the Minister of Transportation. Some Nigerians made a call following Buhari's directive to his ministers with political ambition to resign. Buhari at the Federal Executive Council FEC meeting on Wednesday told cabinet members who have declared their political ambition to resign before Monday, 16th of May. This directive affects the following cabinet members Malami, the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, Minister of Science and Technology, Obonaya Ono, Minister of State for Education, Emeka Wajuba, Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ingige, Minister of State for Petroleum, Timipere Silva. Following the directive, Amechi Wajuba, Godswill Akwabio, Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, and Obunaya Onu, Minister of Science and Technology, have resigned the appointment. However, some Nigerians noted that Kenyama was better positioned to replace Malami as the country's chief law officer. Comments Daily Post gathered from Twitter reads below. A social media user commented, Festus Kenyamo should be deployed to Minister of Justice when Malami resigns. Another commented, Baby Sola Saraki will become the new Minister of Transportation and Festus Kenyamo the Minister of Labor and Employment. Another opined, Kenyamo will be a natural replacement for Malami, being somebody that is knowledgeable about the law, looking at his past antecedent. Another commented, I picked Kenyamo to replace Malami that has really tried to destroy Nigeria's judiciary system. Kenyamo would be a better replacement. Another opined, I think I would subscribe to Kenyamo replacing Malami. That man has done more harm than good to the judiciary system in the country. Now, this is what I have to say. If these people are to be replaced, please... First of all, when replacing them, they should make sure they replace them with people who know their onions and are willing to save the country. Sincerely, I join my voices with these people to say, Malami has destroyed, he has destroyed Nigeria's judiciary system. In fact, another office that should be probed now is his office. To be sincere, if I were the EFCC, I would be swinging into action. All the people that are resigning, prove them. Not give them breathing space. This is the time where they are still, they still have our money before they start using it to campaign. Collect our money from these people and use the money to better a particular sector. Sincerely. And in picking a new person, they should ensure. In fact, I just feel criteria should be given for almost everything. If you're coming in, you sign the form where you're going to be held accountable for each of your actions, accountable for everything you do. You sign a criteria form where if you don't perform well, you're going to be replaced. Sincerely, I feel things should be put in place so that those things, they said the law are made to make somebody behave. So that when, the, if you don't, there's going to be penalty for anyone you do not, you know? Then people will naturally gravitate. People like laws. They like when you place a law on something. Because if you give people free hand, they're not going to use it wisely. So when you place it on them that, oh, if you do this thing, no, this is what is going to be the repercussion. They are now going to say, okay, instead of me to, uh, you know, be penalized, let me do as it has been requested of me to do.
Kenya Moore does not have the magic wand, neither the courage. He was better outside the government. Immediately he got the appointment in this APC government. He started singing songs of praise for the APC government. I'm disappointed. Well, I'm not disappointed. I'm not. See, I said it before. If you're not in politics, you know, if you're someone who is just a floor member, just like us, the electorates, you will be speaking wisely. You will come out and you'll be saying things that are knowledgeable. You'll come out and you're going to be saying things from a rational point of view. Immediately you join politics. I've said it before. It's like you take them somewhere and do them a brain surgery. Because these people automatically, they start saying things. The only person that I know that says things, who, that says things once in a while, he comes out and still sp speaks from a place of truth. No matter what people call him, is FFK. FFK, he comes out sometimes, you know, and makes statements that are true. Once in a while, even I say, uh, you know, the network, the flash, they go. <laughs> I never know. But he comes out and really says things as they are. No matter how bad he is, he comes out and go, drops a message. And that message, you will see, say, truly, this message carry weight. But apart from that, I am not surprised that anyone who is going to be... That is why I'm saying somebody who is willing. If you are not willing to fight to save Nigeria, you don't have a business being in government. You have to be very willing. In fact, your willpower is supposed to be 300 over 100. Yes, because there are times a situation where you will be almost cajoled into doing what is wrong. You have to hold yourself back and say, no, these people do not deserve this. They don't deserve this at all. You have to hold yourself back and say, no, these people, I would rather do the right thing for them. We need such people. Such people, even when they become the president, governor, senator, whatever, those people will be like, no, these people or my country does not deserve this type of a treatment. Yes. Sentiment. Anything Muslim is full on and bad, eh? Thank God we're practicing democratic system of government. The next person to replace Malami must come from the north. That's sure. This because of Namdekano's case. If Igbo extraction appointed, he will assist Namdekano access free. Are you serious right now? Are you really serious? Huh. Saying this, huh. look, I've said it before. In picking anyone to replace any of these ministers, you should make sure it is people who know their owners. That's all. People who merit it, indeed. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.